My name is Kelly Farley. Grieving Dads, Father's Stories of Loss, Hope, and Healing is a book I wish I never had to write. It's also a book I wish I had after the death of my two children. A book that no grieving dad or, who cares, or anyone who cares for them should be without. This is a collection of stories from men who have survived the death of a child and who live to tell the tale. They are real stories that pull no punches and are told with brutal honesty. Men that have shared their deepest and darkest moments. Moments that have included thoughts of suicide, self-medication, and homelessness. It's estimated that each year, two million parents in the United States lose a child. Anyone who is personally or professionally involved with a grieving dad will find this book illuminating, inspiring, and informative. Uh, that was uh, really a phenomenal pitch. Just as a pitch, forget about what you're writing about for a second. Just as a pitch, it was terrific. What you're writing about and the way you expressed it was beautiful and heartfelt and deep. And I have a colleague who lost a child, a father, um, who I think would have given anything for a book like this. And I don't know, I haven't done the research myself, but I don't think there is a book out there on the market. So I think you hit a hole. And, uh, I'm not sure what size publisher would um, to go after for a book like this because it's a somewhat narrow audience. But maybe uh, Dominique or Joe. Can for that. Uh, the only thing that I would add um, <coughs> is that it might be because you did have 20 seconds left. Yeah. Is, <laughs> yes, yes, you did have 20 <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> So the, the only thing that I would add to this is maybe a couple of specifics. Um, Fred was a dad who did this and lost this. Just a couple bullet points that, that I think would enhance the, the, uh, your pitch, but it was fantastic. I think the, um, your vision of the market is too narrow. Um, and um, you know, I'd be interested in publishing that book, and I wouldn't publish it for grieving dads. I'd be interested in publishing it for the rest of the world because I think that Storytelling is storytelling, and you're telling about some of the most powerful emotions that people have. And I think moms would be very interested in reading this. So, um, so I urge you to go find a good publisher for it. Uh, that being said, I think that in the last three or four years, men have been slipping a lot in this economy. A lot of service jobs have been lost construction. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, families that have faced a lot of hardships. There have been a lot of uh, implosions in families. There's been increases in family violence. And, drug addiction and alcohol. So you're really writing into uh, a very topical sort of zeitgeist issue. One of my specialties is men's spirituality. And uh, you know, I'd probably jump all over this book if it had any kind of Catholic twist. That's where I'm at. If not, um, I know six, six editors or six agents that I could send you to today. So great job, great job. Thank you.